Hi everyone, this is Jerome from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we have started this series on tech life structures where we are going to learn how you can do the complete G plus one detailing in the same software. So what we have covered so far in this, we have covered how you can start the modeling that means how to modify the grid lines then how you can model the different structural members and we have also covered the view and edit commands now after completing these two commands we have directly jumped to the reinforcement part where we have learned how you can provide reinforcement in different structural members and what are the different ways of doing that so in the last session i have discussed how you can provide the reinforcement in slab using the mesh bars then mesh bars by area and the slab reinforcement application number 18. So what is new in this session? In this session, we are going to learn how you can provide the reinforcement in slab using the bars and the power group. So why it is important? Because this is one of the manual methods that we have to use while doing the detailing. Then how it is going to affect your detailing portion. So it will just generate the exact way of reinforcement that you want to generate in the structural drawing. That means in the mesh bars, that means that application that I have discussed earlier, in that what you are doing, you were just uh, taking up an application and you were using it to provide the reinforcement in the modeled slab but you can't modify it. That means if you want to construct a suppose crank one, you can't do that. But here you can do anything if you are using this technique. So this will be very much important if you are working with the Indian environment and it will also be very much feasible for the foreign environments too. So if you are taking the projects of from any random country, then you can use this technique to provide the reinforcement in your slab. So let's start. So you can see I have already created a model and uh, this is just to give you an insight how this will look once you provide the reinforcement in this one. So here if you have to do a little bit of the calculation because you are not using any kind of application over here but that is too easy to do because once you create this reward set in your like model then you can just use it and replicate it in other structural members. So first of all we will have to create a slab and for that we will just go to concrete and then slab and from there we will choose the application of the slab and we can easily model it like this okay i'm just modeling it on the ground but i can move it anytime i want so that's not an issue now what i have to do you can use any of these two things like the bars and the bar groups to use this technique but before that we need to have some grid lines so for that you can also see over here how I am creating the grid lines. So for that, I will just create a construction object over here. And the accurate way of doing it that you can just create it at the desired location. And after that, you can simply copy or move it to the any location that is required. So I need it at a distance of 600 on the top and 900 at the bottom. Okay, so I will just create the multiple copies of this one on the all the sides so for that i'm not going to just uh, drag it and drop it but i will use this special technique of copy special and it will give me accuracy while making the copies so i will just keep the number of copies as one and then i have to move so first of all i will have to check the axis so this is a positive x direction this is a positive y direction and i have to create a copy in positive x direction okay so i will create one copy at 600 mm and then I don't want any kind of fluctuation in the Y axis. So I will simply create a copy like this. And you can see here we have one copy. Now, what is the next thing that we have to do? We have to simply make another copy over here that is 600 from the end. So I will just make another copy at 5400. So that is the calculation that you have to do if you are working with any particular slab. Then uh, and how I'm doing this? I'm just uh, taking the 0.1 L. Okay, so L is a 6000 over here. So I'm just moving 0.1 L over here. Okay, now the next thing is we have to provide the reinforcement at the bottom. And for that, I will have to create the copy at 900 mm. 
So I will create one copy at over here and one, another one at 1500 mm. So I will just create another copy over there also. Now I want these copies to be shifted a little bit. So first of all, let's uh, shift the copy that is at a distance of uh, 600. So I will select these two copies and then I will simply move it. Okay. So this one and this one here, I have to just select it and then I will have to move it. So I will just go to move a spatial, move linear, and then I will make it zero. And in the Z direction, I will move it by minus 50. Now, why minus 50? That I will tell you in just a moment. So don't worry about that. Then we have to work with these grid lines that are at a distance of 900 mm. Okay, so we will simply select these two grid lines and we'll move it to the bottom. So my slab is 200 mm thick. So I will simply move it by 200. Okay, so let's move linear and then go to DZ and there just press 200. Okay, now click on move and you can see these grid lines have been moved. Okay, so you can just uh, rotate this also so that you can have a better view over here. Now I can create a view along the grid line one. So I will simply go over here, go to the view list and there I will just create a view along the grid line one. And you can see this will give me a clear view of how the grid lines have been moved over here. Okay. So let's just stay in this grid line. Now select this one and make the desired changes. So we have to just look for our construction lines. So let's see where are they. So this is at the right position. Now let's look for another one. So this is again at the right position. Okay. So that's not an issue. Now we have to create our grid line. So, no, we have to provide the bars. So to provide the bars, what we can do? we can simply just go for these two things that is go to the concrete there you can choose for either bar group or either bars okay so first of all let's go for bar group so you have to first select the object okay and at the bottom you can also see how you can simply just uh, pick the things now we have to go for point intersection over here then at this place Okay, it is not grabbing the grid line over here. So why so? Because we don't have any grid line at this place also. So we need to construct another grid line. So this will take just a moment. Okay, just go for the construction line, go over here, create another grid line like this, and then just press escape, select the line, move it to the bottom by just minus 50. Okay, and click on move. Then select, select, and then click on the endpoint. Now press the scroll button of your mouse. And you can see you have created this rebar. Okay, now what you have to do? We have to create the multiple copies of it. So for that, we will just press control, press one, then control and P to go to the top view. Or you can just go to the 3D view from here, just press control plus one. Here you can see the rebar. Now you will have to do a little bit of the calculations. So we have to create multiple copies. So how we can do that? We can simply just calculate the distance in between that. And for that, we can simply go to edit, then the copy special, and then linear from here, in this direction, just create multiple copies at a distance of 300 and number of copies will be, uh, let's do a little bit of the calculation. So 6,340, no 20. Now create this much copies. So you can see this has been laid all over the area. Now what we have to do? Now we can create multiple copies of it. And for that, we will go to copy special linear and then 
make multiple copies like this okay now we have to follow a few single thing simple things like uh, first of all let's get rid of these grid lines So guys, this was the technique, how you can uh, like modify the bars, then how you can rearrange it, how you can just rotate everything and finally bring it back to the normal. Okay, so we have discovered a new way on how to provide the reinforcement in slab and to learn more about the Tecla structures and about other designing and detailing softwares. You can stay tuned to Civil Center channel. We make regularly videos and every video is being published on every alternate day of the Tecla structures. Okay, now if you want to be a consultant, then you will also find a link in the description. You have to just go over there, watch the webinar and register yourself for the free strategy call. And our team will guide you how you can open up your own consultancy and how you can start your career as a consultant. Thank you.